Good morning. It's good to see you. Well, pleased to see you. And I just want to tell you what I know about the work that you can do with regard to that and other news around the world. I'm glad to be for it. Ah, well, thank you very much. I'm glad to have you. And uh, I also want to present this new edition of our song. It has more things in it than ever before. Well, thank you very much. For the great, great creators and music. Uh, As you know, from yes. the Tabernacle Choir. Yes. Oh, yes, I do know. Should we give them a call? Well, it's good, good to see you. you. Good to see you. Glad to see you in position. Thank you. I, I bring you the greetings of my counselors, one of whom at least served with you in an advisory capacity. And uh, I bring you the love of the council of Toronto. Well, thank you very much. And please thank them. Give them my warmest greetings. Thank you. Thank you very much. And take care of yourself, will you? I will. Don't worry. <laughs> yes, I will. You're a miracle man as it is. Oh, thank you. I, I mean that. I know you do. And I'm most grateful. We hope you'll be here a long time. You know, I, I visited the cabinet room and I picked out my chair. Well. I served there for eight years. Yes, I know. I didn't want the job. <laughs> and I told the president and uh, he, uh, he said, well, we'll settle that later. <laughs> and the president of the church came out here to try and persuade him to release me. Well. And, uh, and I, at first I knew he was in town. I had a telephone call from the White House, the appointment secretary. You still have him, I guess. Oh, yes, yep. And uh, he said, do we have a man here by the name of David O. McKay? He's from Utah. Do you know him? <laughs> I said, yes, I know him. He's president of the Mormon Church. And I think the president would want to see him. And then President McKay came over to my office. And he said, well, Brother Benson, I tried. <laughs> but the president doesn't want to let you go. Well. And so I stayed. When the boss calls, you stay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Lord bless you. Good to see you. It's good, good to see you. See. Have you got your thing of a jig on? What? This. Oh. I was with the Chief Justice this morning, and he said, you ask him if he wears that. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, I just picked them out one at a time, and today I happen to pick this one. <laughs> Well, I'll have you excused. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Hi. Hey, sir. Thank you. Introduce you my nephew, John. Yeah. Hello, Hello there. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Brother Jack. Hi. How are you? Should we just do a, a quick loop on it? Yes. 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 Hey, y'all, I'll probably take your hands off so you change the stuff. So. Make it warm and then we'll take it and take it Not an advanced you know that. That's true. Thank you, sir. Well, here's just a couple of little souvenirs in case you don't need a book. I think they have to see them. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time.
I think the underlying thing in this report, which is not said, which really is, is music to the birds, is that it's, it's more a diplomatic answer to a problem in Canada, Canada than it is a scientific answer to the problem of acid rain. Uh, the one thing that, that we found out in this report, uh, and, and I feel very strongly about this, that acid rain is caused by sulfates in the air, that the evidence is almost irrefutable, and that for us as an administration to walk away from that position, uh, I don't think it's in, in your best interest because it, I don't think it's accurate. And secondly, it's, it's a very serious problem in Canada. And the one thing that, that came out, and I and met several times with Jack on this and Don Reagan, this in Canada is probably the single most important political issue they have. And I'm sure you've heard this in the State Department. Uh, when I met with Brian Mulroney, one of his comments was that, uh, and he's in love with the United States and you, as you know, he said, when the President of the United States wants something, I respond. He said, when he called me, and I said, what you did, the staff did, uh, on MX missile locations in Europe. He said, my response was not whether I'm supporting him or not, but send me some talking points so I can do what, what has to be done. Uh, he feels this is a litmus test in terms of his being pro-American as far as operating the Canadian government. That is, that is the overwhelming issue. In this report, we're really recommending three or four things. One is that we agree the problem exists, we should do something about it. The second thing we're recommending is that we have a major federal government program, which is something I know that's important to you, to, to subsidize private industry to start doing something about it. The total cost of that program will be uh, $500 million a year for five years, with industry putting up matching funds. But the thing we've been very careful not to do is to do anything in terms of dislocating miners by going from high sulfur coal to low surface sulfur coal, which would be the social consequences of which would be very significant. We have tried not to do anything that in terms of emissions control specifically, which is something you've never stopped that hurt our smokestack industries in Northeast and Midwest any more than they have. This program essentially is a research program in which we're going to develop technology, which hopefully it will lead. Nice to see you Good again. To see you. Glad to see you. General Davis, sir. Yeah. Jim Metis, you remember this? Hello there. John, why don't you know that? Yeah, how are you? Oh, I can't. No, I would never take yeah, it. Yeah, I would never take it. Mr. Vice President, nice to see you. John, how are you? Yes, we sure know who you are. Hi, John. Nice to see you, sir. Hi. Good to see you again. Nice to see you. How do you do? General Davis, how are you, sir? Nice to see you. Hey, Jim, welcome back. Good to see you. Oh, you're nice to do this. Yeah. Well, nice to do what you're doing. Malcolm you just put me in last November. We're here to report on what we did in November. <laughs> <laughs> Again, which we're delighted. Well, General Davison is our military uh, leader, and uh, Jim Metis is the State Department representative in this enterprise of the Joint Board. And uh, I am supposed to present you with a report. That's one of my responsibilities. So I wanted to be sure and do that. And, uh, let you know that we had a very successful meeting in the latter part of November with the Joint Board. And uh, 
the Canadians are, have suggested with the Prime Minister that we uh, consider doing a risk assessment of uh, our total defense and uh, especially as it relates to potential naval threat, potential threat from the Soviet uh, on the naval side. And of course that immediately brings up the issue of the sovereignty issue that we've been kicking around. And so we're hopeful when you have your fine meeting with, uh, with the Prime Minister uh, in uh, March, maybe there could be some diplomatic way to bring that up. But, uh, and he is very aware that their representative who is, happens to be a member of the Parliament, Mr. Lawrence, who is my good counterpart to what I do, has met with the Prime Minister on our meeting uh, once, and I think is going to do it again. And so we're hopeful that during your meeting here, that some of those issues can be discussed. Now tell me, and it reminds me of the sovereignty thing, having to do with the northern waters. That's a great student, giant stand. I know about us, but I remember I have a thought like this since that championship basketball. I'm pleased to and glad to see you because I think you may not realize it, but I think I share as much as anyone could concern that I know you both expressed about situation in Well, that's a little bit. Yes, sir. No, we know of your concern over here. The last time I heard of your concern first, it was sitting in this very chair. <laughs> and uh, I left here and went to, uh, to Laos a couple of times at, uh, at your, uh, well, with your help, sir, so we're very grateful for it. And we appreciate what you're doing, no question about that. For the country and certainly for the POW. Well, I'm here this time to hear from you. Yes, sir. Well, uh, 